All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. And today's project, I'm gonna be doing some painting on my workbench. So if you watch my previous video about my my whole shed walkthrough, um, I have four parts, uh, but the last part I did an entire walkthrough of the shed and where I explained how I built everything inside this shed. So if you wanna check that out, just go back through my uh, previous videos and I'll link it in the, in the description or at the end of the video. But today's project, I'm gonna be painting the cabinets that we built and the front edge of the workbench. So essentially uh, my paint scheme here is I'm, I'm gonna paint the cabinets themselves and the cabinet sides black. So the sides are gonna be black and same with the poplar face frame and same with the uppers. The sides are gonna be black and the poplar face frame is gonna be black. And then I have doors, some custom made doors that are on the way that are being pre-made that I didn't make myself that are going to come and I'm going to paint them red. So the scheme will be black cabinets, lower and upper, and then the red doors. And they're gonna, there's going to be a reveal of about half an inch. So they'll sit back and then it'll show and have a nice contrast between the red doors and the black sides. So I don't have the doors yet, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test this poplar face frame with some red, some red paint and see how that looks. So I'm, I'm using an oil-based paint. I'm actually, I picked this up from Canadian Tire and I'll link, to, link the products that I use um, or a similar product that I use in the description below um, from Amazon. But I'm actually gonna try out this. This is Gloss Fire Red and Gloss Black from Tremcloud. And I believe it's the same company as uh, What's the name of it? American company, um, Rust-Oleum. But uh, this is oil-based paint that you typically use on like rusting metal or metal. So we'll see what sort of uh, adhesion quality that we get and then paint quality and coverage that we get with this oil-based paint. Um, but I'm assuming that it'll work well. What I'm gonna do is, I've, I've got my, all my brushes and masking tape, so I'll mask everything off and see how it looks. I'll test this first. But I'm gonna take some 240 grit sandpaper I've got an assortment of sandpapers here and a sanding block, but I'm going to take some 240 grit and sand up the poplar face frame here and then uh, give the trim clad a test and see how it sticks and see how many coats, coats I need to do. So I'll mask everything off and, and get it sanded with the 240 grit and then I'll, I'll check back in with you. So I've got everything masked off now. Um, I just put a little bit of paper on the bottom side here just to catch any drips and then before I start painting I'll lay down a, a sheet of paper there just to catch any drops. Um, but I've got it all masked off just to do the red on the poplar at the front here. So masked on the top and then masked along the bottom. So I've gone over it with, uh, what is this? 240 grit sandpaper on a sanding block just to take down any of the imperfections on the surface and, to to give it a nice even coarse finish for the paint to adhere to. So, I mean, this is trim clad, right? So it's supposed to be used for metal. And, you know, I, I don't want it to be perfect for the cabinets anyways. I mean, it's it's cheap enough that it'll, it'll give it coverage and hopefully look good. So we'll see how this sticks. But I mean, as long as we're doing the proper, um, as long as we're doing like the proper preparations for paint, we should get some good adhesion, regardless of if this is, you know, just meant for, metal um surfaces so we'll see how the tram cloud works especially in the long run i mean this isn't going to be exposed to uv either so uh it's not like <coughs> it's not like the sun's going to get to the paint surface and and faded it faded it at all i just want it to stick and look well um it might take a little bit longer to dry than than regular paint um but uh we'll see how this stuff works so maybe i'll get get you set up on the time lapse here and then you can see me painting this Okay, so I've gotten one coat on now. Um, just to, like my first impressions of this Tremclad stuff on wood, honestly, it doesn't seem too bad. 
the coverage for one coat was was worked out really well. Um, I barely used any paint, and that's just for this front trim piece. I mean, it's not too big, but I was barely using any paint, and then I got pretty good coverage. And even with one coat, you can see, I mean, you can't even see really any remnants of the, the bare wood exposed underneath. So it's got definitely some good coverage, um, and it looks looks really nice too. So I'm going to let it dry, and, and then we'll see how it turns out. Let it flash off, and uh, if I need to put on a second coat, then I'll put on a second coat. But first impressions for trim cloud on wood, honestly, not bad. Okay, so it's the next day here now. Um, I actually ended up putting on a second coat this morning. So this has probably been drying for about, I'd say, two or three hours now. So here's just a quick view of what it looks like after the second coat. I probably would have been okay with just one, one coat, but I figured, hey, I might as well give a second coat a try. And it turned out pretty well, and I'm actually really happy with the results. So that'll probably take about 24 hours or so to dry completely, but I tore the masking tape off now and now what I want to do is I'll probably tackle the black on the bottom and then I'll just I'll give the red some time to dry before I hit the uppers just so I don't um, get any any um, sanding dust in it or, or anything like that so I think I'll tackle the bottom next I'm not in a rush so this whole COVID-19 situation is going on so I've got nothing else better to do so I'll sand the lowers and tackle it with the black All right, so I've painted the black on now. So I masked off all the areas that I didn't want painted and then I got to the black. So I ended up, I, I didn't want to do the back here because it kind of ties in nicely to the top of the workbench. So I just decided to do the sides and then I didn't do the exterior sides because I can't get to that side. And then um, my toolbox is in the way and I don't want to move it on that side. So I just masked it off in that corner. Um, so the black coverage compared to the red, I would say, um, definitely for sure. I'm probably going to need a second coat because in areas like this, I'm not sure if you can tell from the light, but it doesn't quite get full coverage and cover the, the wood behind it. But overall, I mean, I barely used any of the paint. If I still had to lay off that, I'd show you, but like for even the side of those cabinets, like just a tiny bit of that can, and the, this is like a just under a liter for that uh, gloss black. So let me just show you that. That's the gloss black rust paint trim clad. So overall, pretty happy with the results um, of the black. I'm not gonna do the top yet just because I don't wanna get the sanding dust into the, the red paint because the red is still drying. Uh, so other than that, I'll probably come back after I do a second coat and then show you the results of that. All right, so I just wanna wrap up this video here. Um, just to note, I'm not completely done this entire setup with the painting. I'm waiting on my doors to come from Richelieu. I custom ordered them. Um, what they do is they make to any size and type of what you want uh, doors, cabinet doors. So I ordered custom cabinet doors for the lowers and the uppers. I'm just waiting for them to get here, but it's taken a while due to this COVID situation. So. I've completely finished the black on the uppers. So here's a final look at that. The gloss turned out pretty nice. 
It looks wet, but I mean, it's dry. It's a nice contrast between the red on the, the pegboard wall, the wall control system, and the black cabinets. I like it. It should look really nice once, once everything's finished. There's just a final look at the red, and then a final look at the black. So I'll do another update once the cabinet doors get in here and I get them all painted. Um, but this is what it looks like as of now. So hopefully this helped out. I definitely like the um, trim clad Rust-Oleum stuff on wood. I would definitely recommend it. Two coats does the job. Looks great. Easy prep. And it turns out awesome. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.